Hi, my name is Desiree Thompson. I'm a senior here at the University of Cincinnati. I say that I'm a senior and it's becoming so surreal that this is like my last project, my last class for my major and then I have my internship and then I'm graduating and it's just like this has always felt so far away and now it's here like <laughs> it's like mixed emotions but as I said I'm a senior here at the University of Cincinnati I am majoring in health promotion education and I'm on the exercise and fitness track um, a little bit about myself is I currently work at Cincinnati Children's in, on the Liberty campus in the emergency department. I am an emergency service representative, or you'll hear us call them ESRs. Um, I absolutely love my job there. Um, we do a lot with patient registration, checking patients in, um, working with the doctors and nurses, just a lot. It's wonderful, I love it. Um, another thing about me, um, I am now applying to grad schools and stuff, and Two years ago, if you would have asked me if I was going to grad school, I would have told you no. Um, I, was told, I would have told you I'm just trying to get this done. I just want to graduate. I don't want to be in school anymore. But I actually am having a change of heart and a change of career. So I'm actually applying to grad schools for either my MSN or my ABSN, which is either your accelerated bachelor's or your master's of nursing. Um, I'm hoping somewhere along the lines down the road, I can somehow combine these two majors but we'll see what happens. Um, so what did I learn from this course um, comparing my initial and my final expectations of this course? So initially I thought this course was gonna be all about the ins and outs of applying to grad school, the ins and outs of applying to future jobs, the ins and outs of applying to your internship and just everything professional, which it was, but I feel like I this course has allowed me to find out so much about myself and how I work and how my brain works and like it's just crazy. Like I just thought it was gonna be this process that was just like one after another when you're doing all this and it's not. It's really allowed me to evaluate myself and what I really want in my future and in my careers and jobs. So that's a little bit about that. Um, after taking this course, do you feel more prepared for your internship and future career? Um, after taking this course, I definitely feel way more prepared for my internship. Um, I do know like with this semester because of COVID, it was probably a lot harder to get points across with just everything being virtual so I feel like for us that have taken this class virtually it's gonna be a lot different when we're going into our internships like I just feel like some of us might have virtual internships I don't know if that's a thing I know for me I have secured a internship in the exercise cardiac clinic at Cincinnati Children's I might have said that wrong um for the summer and I know I will be in person but I know there are some people who are doing virtual internships and it's just so different um but for my future career with me changing majors I do feel like this class didn't completely prepare me for nursing which is okay because that'll probably be a separate class in itself um so I would say yes and no it did prepare me but also with the change of career it didn't prepare me if that makes sense and then what path do you see yourself fitting in with the most um, definitely the hospital or medical setting and I've always thought that um, and did this change after taking the course actually no um, it just increased my realization of realizing that that's where I want to be is in that kind of setting after taking this course what do you still need to learn and in what professional areas do you feel that you still need to grow after taking this course I don't feel like there's a lot more that I need to learn in regards to the whole process of applying and getting jobs in the future um, but professionally I know there's areas I still need to grow in but I feel like a lot of those areas aren't going to reveal themselves until I really am in a job or an internship um, I know for me um, some areas I need to work on is saying um professionally like if I was in a meeting or doing a big presentation that is something I need to work on um, also, 
I feel like professionally how I talk to people because sometimes and this is a conversation we have at work my tone is not always the greatest and I'm really trying to work on that but other than that I think like my presentation and how I talk is maybe something I need to work on but other than that I don't feel like there's any professional areas that are really sticking out to me right now but I'm sure in the future when I am in these jobs and things I will find areas I need to grow in so with that being said that is my personal assessment um I can't believe like this is it um so I just want to thank Dr. Buchanan thank you for the last um two to three years in this program when I transferred from Miami to UC I didn't know what to expect I had such a bad experience at Miami and it was such not a good fit for me that I was honestly scared to come into a new program in a new university and you have been probably one of my most favorite professors um and you really helped me find my niche in life i feel like um even if i am changing majors um you've been a really big part of me finding that part of myself um whether you realize it or not so i have really enjoyed this program and i'm really looking forward to my internship in the summer and i'm really looking forward to the future and what the future holds so thank you for all the work that you guys have put in this for this program and everything so thank you and I wish you guys a great, great Christmas break, and I will see you guys back in the spring.